I'm Stephanie and I've just finished reading The Vanishing Trick by Jenny Spangler. This is a middle grade book, uh, so 9 to 12 year olds, and it's set in Victorian times. The cover has this amazing gold details on it and very old fashioned portraits. These are the three children that are our main characters in the book. We have Charlotte, Felix and Leander. Leander is the character that we're first introduced to. He is an orphan. His mother used to be a cook at a big house called Litchfield Manor, but when she died he was left homeless and resorted to stealing for food, um, money, anything he could get his hands on really, and sneaking into the big house at night to sleep in the library with only an old fairy tale book as comfort. His mum used to read him stories from one of the books in the library in the big house, so he's taken to going into the library, he, he's made a bed on a shelf and he sneaks in there every night and, and tries to settle down and go to sleep, but the evil housekeeper, Mrs Smart, uh, has noticed and she's extorting him for money, so she keeps threatening to tell the owner of the house that the boy is still living there, and he's very scared. So when Miss Pinchback, a beautiful, very richly dressed woman, offers him the chance for a home, uh, the chance to belong and to do some work to get some money, he jumps at it. The only thing that Leander still has from his mother is an old locket and at first Pinchbeck tries to buy the locket from him. She offers him £10 for it, uh, no, 10 shillings I believe, which would be enough money for a week's worth of food for him and he's starving at the time so he's very tempted but as he's about to say yes this girl comes from the from out of nowhere seemingly and tells him not to do it um and he he thinks to himself this is the last thing i have that belongs to my mother so really i shouldn't give this away for a week's worth of food it's worth more than that and runs away but later on he comes across Miss Pinchbeck again and decides to take the offer and finds himself trapped within the locket. Pinchbeck works as a medium, which was something that was quite popular in Victorian times, um, possibly because uh, Prince Albert died and Queen Victoria apparently became obsessed with contacting him and actually took part in a few seances herself. Um, that's why black clothes and jet jewellery became so popular during Victorian times, it was because Queen Victoria was essentially mourning for a, a very long time. So seances became quite popular and people used to make a lot of money out of conning people and pretending that their loved ones were coming back to speak to them from the dead, um, trick candles and things like that employed in the business, and that's what Pinchbeck does. However, because she does have a little bit of magic, she somehow manages to make these children become attached to an object that she can then shut them in and recall them whenever she wants to by saying some, some magic words and she calls it the vanishing trick. She'll be doing a seance and she'll have everyone around the table and have lots of candles and things going on. Anyway, she'll be having a seance and then one of the children will appear in the middle of the seance and then disappear again and what would you think except well, it's obviously a ghost. So Leander finds himself trapped and the girl that he saw was called Charlotte. She's also an orphan and just wants to get back home to her uncle. And Felix, who is the only one who actually has any loyalty to Pinchbeck, he's been searching for his brother for a very long time and Pinchbeck promised that she'd help him. And was my cat deciding to go for a little run? Pinchbeck said that she would help him and so he's very loyal to her and despite the fact that she's very cruel and whenever she's fed up with a child she just gets rid of it somehow. No one knows what happens but the objects that they're attached to are smashed. So is she killing them? What's happening to these children? But Felix still won't betray her because he wants to find his brother and Pinchbeck promised to help him. But is she helping him? Is she really helping him or is she lying to him like she's lied to all the other children? You have to read it to find out. This is a really brilliant kids book. It's spooky but not in a supernatural way so it talk, it deals with a lot of, of seances and atmospheric stuff 
but you know that it's not ghosts, you know that it's it's magic. So it's creepy, but it's not too scary for a kid. The, the, the world building is amazing, you really feel like you are in the Victorian era. Uh, the smells, the, the, the mist and the fog, and even the food that they're eating and the clothes that they're wearing just really resonate with that period, and it's a brilliant little bit of historical fantasy fiction. I highly recommend it, um, especially if you've got a child or if you yourself are interested in the Victorian era and are interested in reading more fiction set in that time, then this is the book for you. The Vanishing Trick by Jenny Spangler. Thank you for watching, I hope you like this video and make sure that you subscribe and tick that little bell to make sure that you don't miss any more videos which will be coming soon.